morning, golfers, and welcome to this week's uh, new newsletter piece. Uh, this week, I thought we'd spend some time on the putter. Uh, I have given a couple of lessons and played with a couple of people from the club of late. Recognise that there's uh, two or three things kind of missing in most people's putting stroke and therefore their results. <clears throat> and I'd like to give you my three main tips to help improve those, those areas. Uh, starting with the length of your putting stroke in relation to the distance the ball's got to go. So what I'm tending to see is an awful lot of people when they're making a putt of say <clears throat> five to 15 feet, their putter goes back an awful long way for the distance the ball has got to travel. Now what this tends to do is it one, makes it hard to judge the distance, okay, beginner's luck, manage to hold it straight away. But as we move to longer putts as well, having too long a backstroke is generally going to cause a deceleration, a slowing of the head coming into impact. Otherwise, if we then suddenly do let that putter follow all the way through, we're going to hit it way, way too far past our target, or with too much pace for it to not take the, the break that we planned on. So one simple tip, try and make your follow through 10% longer than your backswing. If you stick to that, now at first, because you're used to having a long backstroke possibly, you might hit it too far. So you're going to have to shorten the stroke either side of the ball. But if you work on the putting green first of all, just trying to make sure the follow through is always a little bit longer than the backswing, that should make sure that we keep just a nice, soft acceleration for impact. My second tip is when striking the ball, really try and strike the ball in the middle of the golf ball. Not the top half, not, not downwards, but right through the middle of the belly of the ball. That will really get the ball rolling as quick as possible. The quickest you'll actually get the ball rolling is about 18 inches to two feet. If you video it in slow motion, you'll actually see it getting backspin to start with, and then it starts rolling. But the quicker we can get it rolling, the better we can get it rolling, the more it's going to follow our line, and, and the better roll we're going to gain. And also helps contribute to that first tip of getting better distance. Okay. Now the third tip, these are all very important if you tend not to do them correctly. I'll bring you around here, which I'm sure you may have heard a hundred times over, probably even from me. There we go. Hopefully you can see the line on the top of the ball here, but it's simply just using the alignment aid. And when I say use it, let's make sure we use it properly. A lot of people I see tend to use the aid, but it's kind of pointing you know, way off line. Wherever we choose our starting point, let's make sure that black line is right on it. Not half a degree to the left or to the right, right on that spot. So we know then that all we've got to make sure we do is control that distance with that better length of stroke either side of the ball and strike it right out the middle of the putter face. That's all you've got to worry about. Whereas if you're standing over the ball thinking, I'm not so sure if I've aligned this correctly, that's another bit of doubt that's breathing in your mind that's going to help it or make it very difficult for you to, to make a good stroke over the part. Okay? And one thing that if you really struggle with this department, hopefully you can see nicely on the, on the camera there, is, is Callow have now come out with a triple track putter. You can see there's a, basically three lines on top. You can actually get a triple track ball as well now. I'm still just using the basic uh, alignment aid here. But by having that, it really, really helps. One, the alignment of the golf ball. Therefore, also then the alignment of the, of the club face and really helps you with the path of the stroke backwards and forwards. And again, summarizing those tips, making sure the putter is at least equal distance backwards and forwards either side of the ball, but if anything, aim to just try and get slightly longer follow through. That 
helps keep that just soft acceleration through impact. When striking the ball, we're going to try and strike the ball in the middle of the belly with the putter running very much level with the ground. And then three, using that alignment aid on top of the golf ball, but not just going through the motions. Make sure it's spot on. Make sure it's on your chosen line. Left flip, foot outside left, dead centre. Whatever it may be chosen as your line, this really needs to point exactly at it. And make sure you get that correct by running the edge of your putter, like you see the guys and the girls on telly, running the edge of that putter down through your alignment aid, close one eye and then just bring that up through your length of putt and you'll be able to see where that's pointing exactly. Okay, if you want to come and try the new triple track, if you're struggling with your alignment, you've got a triple track golf ball or you've got a bog stand alignment or if we can help in any way to reshape your putting stroke, please give us a shout. Uh, we're currently we've got quite busy, so we're about a week in advance, um, but yeah, give us a shout as soon as possible. We always get cancellations here and there, so always try us on the off chance if you are struggling. Many thanks, good luck with your golf, enjoy the nice hot weather, and we'll see you soon.